Good morning. Welcome to the Knee Jerk Devotional, October 14th, 2020. Today's passage is Luke 9, 1 through 17. It goes like this. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure disease, and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He told them, Take nothing for the journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt, whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave that town. If people do not welcome you, leave their town and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. So they sent out, they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing people everywhere. Now Herod, the Tetrarch, heard about all that was going on, and he was perplexed, because some were saying that John had been raised from the dead, others that Elijah had appeared, and still others that one of the prophets of long ago had come back to life. But Herod said, I beheaded John. Who then is this I hear such things about? And he tried to see him. When the apostles returned, they reported to Jesus what they had done. Then he took them with him. And they withdrew by themselves to a town called Bethsaida. But the crowds learned about him and followed him. He welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed healing. Late in the afternoon, the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so they can go to the surrounding villages and countryside and find food and lodging, because we are in a remote place. He replied, You give them something to eat. They answered, We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, unless we go and buy food for all this crowd. About 5,000 men were there. Throw in a whole bunch of women and children, too. But he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about 50 each. The disciples did so, and everyone sat down. Taking the loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke them. Then he gave them to the disciples to distribute to the people. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Take a break. It's okay. Get away. Go somewhere. Even if it's not for a very long time. Or, work hard. It's okay. Put your head down and do the thing. Pursue your career. See, tucked right in between two significance for the apostles was this little line. When the apostles returned, they reported to Jesus what they had done. Then he took them with him, and they withdrew by themselves to a town called Bethsaida. These guys, they had been out traveling and doing the work of the ministry. They were healing and preaching and dealing with demons. They took nothing with them. The apostles went out to do the work. When they got back, Jesus took them away for for a retreat. The sense we get is that getaway lasted a very brief time. Whatever you do, there is a rhythm to life, right? There are seasons of busyness and there are seasons of quiet. When you're in the midst of the busyness, you need to give yourself to it in the sense that you work hard. But... When you're in the season of quiet, it's time to get away. It's time to find emotional, spiritual, and physical rest. There is a lie we believe in. Balance. We somehow believe there is a work-rest balance that we can somehow find. The problem is our lives are more like the pendulum of a grandfather clock. The swing, they swing between two poles, right? In this case, rest and work. If the pendulum stops swinging, we say that the clock is broken, or worse yet, dead. Jesus shows us this beautiful model of the work-rest continuum. When we are healthy, we are swinging between work and rest. We find a rhythm of both. If we get stuck in the rest aspect of life, we will die. If we get stuck in the work aspect of life. We will die. Many of us 
uh, struggle with not allowing ourselves to rest. We feel like we have to keep going and going. We secretly believe the world will fall apart without us. It's not true. Some of us struggle with not working hard at all. We discovered that we can skate through life and not add anything to the world. We secretly believe the world doesn't need us. It's just not true. There is beauty in the concept of Sabbath rest, to take one day and engage in recreation. Isn't it funny how adding a hyphen can change the meaning of a word? Recreation versus recreation. Take some time today. Ask yourself, where am I at on the pendulum? Am I stuck in rest or work? How do I move the pendulum toward where I need to be? Or have I found this, this, this rhythm of life? And if you have, celebrate it. Until tomorrow. Love well, my friends.